Hello my class 9 students. Today I am going to show you a small experiment which is based on upthrust. Now upthrust, what do you understand by upthrust? Upthrust is the upward force experienced by the body when it is partially or completely immersed in a liquid. Now upthrust depends upon two factors. Which are the two factors? Number one, it depends upon the volume of the liquid displaced. Number two, it depends upon the density of the liquid. Now here in this, I have taken plain water and this one has got salt solution. Now I'm going to just do a simple experiment using the egg. So I have taken the egg and this egg I'm going to dip in the water. This is plain water. So you will see that it is sinking. Now why does it sink? Because the volume of the water that is displaced by the egg, displaced by the body, the weight of that water is less than the weight of the egg, the weight of the body. Okay. Now, if I remove from here and now I am going to place it in this salt solution. Can you see what is happening? It is floating. Why is it floating? It is floating because the volume of the salt solution that is displaced by the egg, the weight of it is going to be more in this water as well as this salt solution the volume of the liquid displaced is the same it is the same as the volume of the egg but the weight of the water displaced was less here because water has density one gram per centimeter cube now i am going to add some more salt Let me just take out the egg and let me just stir this. Because of the salt, its density has increased. And because of that, when I place the egg, you will see that the egg did not sink as it sank over here. Once again, let us just check. We'll remove it from here and we will place the egg over here. The egg is sinking. And the reason for that is the weight of the water displaced in this mug is less. Why? Because the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now when we place it in the salt solution, you will see that the volume of the egg remaining the same when I immerse it completely, it will have the volume of the liquid displaced being exactly the same as the volume of the egg. And now if I release it, you will see that egg comes up. Why? Because the weight of the liquid that is displaced in this container, because its density is more, its weight was more. And remember the weight of the liquid displaced by the immersed part of the body, that is the upthrust. We have learned that already. So understand that more the density, more is the upthrust. Back again, less density less upthrust so the weight being more than the upthrust the egg sinks and now here we will have the weight of the egg is less than the upthrust the maximum upthrust is this now when it is in floating position part of this egg is above the liquid so the immersed volume of the egg is slightly less than the entire volume but in floating position, remember the weight of the egg and the upthrust, which is vertically upward force, both of them will be equal. So the weight of the egg in floating position is going to be the upthrust that is offered by the salt solution. Okay, so we have understood the factor on which the upthrust depends, that is the density of the liquid. If the density of the liquid is more, upthrust is more 
and so we will see that in normal water we have density 1 gram per centimeter cube the egg sank but here the density of the salt solution is approximately 1.2 or 1.17 and so the density of the egg has become lesser than the density of the liquid and also understand that the upthrust provided is more in salt solution because its density is more and hence the egg flows. Okay, I hope you understood this concept well. Thank you for watching. Bye.